Oh, hey, gang, I'm going to do something a little different this time. I'm going to try to run <laughs> four trains at once. Ah, you got to be kidding. Oh, so uh, let's see. Let me show you what's happening. Uh, I'm over here at the East Lake. I haven't finished the, the route around. I haven't gone to the uh, smelter. I mean, to the uh, the gold dredge yet. Uh, I have relocated the smelter down here because there's, you know, the meat packing plant was all alone and it needed another smokestack. And smelter is kind of like being near water too. So, so I figured why not just relocate it down here. I got this very interesting track plan uh, with that grade going up. Uh, goes to the the cow farm and then the cow farm goes to the big city, you know, where the depot is. So I got two trains that come in, uh, logging trains from here. And the logging trains from here makes a nice long run to Westlake on the other far side. Uh, so that's that's kind of an interesting operation. So the trains come in down the hill. They come in and they load up and then they park here. And so I can run, you know, I can have one empty ready and one loaded ready to go. And so since everything is loaded, even the little cordwood, now the cordwood, uh, I figured the smelter uses a ton of cordwood. And look at all this lumber and all this cheddar. So it would make sense there would be a uh, a mill here. And and so with the long run, the West Lake, and with the cordwood, I, I called it the Lake Cordwood Company here. So the first one train we're going to run, it's a real simple one. Uh, basically the Shea and the Shea has a max speed of seven miles an hour. So I've, I've learned a little bit of a trick. Two whistles for forward, three for reverse, one for stop and three when underway. There's my loading. That's a rail placed sideways. That's my loading markers. Cause I hate those rails sticking up. So. Yeah, if you press number two or eight, you can you can uh, put those down yeah, like that. So anyway, uh, this train runs up this little grade over the iron pile, and here's where it unloads, and then it smacks into this bumper here. Now, as long as the track is straight, uh, it'll it'll work just fine. So let's see. Uh, do I want to unload it? Do I want to subject you all to that? Hmm. Not really. Uh, eh, we'll just watch it bump, bump against this uh, track. I'll just unload the first three cars. All right, so let's see how this works. So he's going kind of slow up that grade. He's struggling. Probably doing five, but he'll he'll increase speed here. What I'm gonna do is start unloading now. Now. And I'll only unload the first three cars. Let's see if the oh the second car didn't unload. Oh well. And he should hit the bumper right about now. Boom! See look at that. No derail. And if you time it just right, you can unload three cars uh, on, on this platform here. There we go. Look at that. All right. So uh, let's see. We're just going to put this guy back. And the same thing's true, too. It runs backwards. Give it a little. I give it a little bit of break to prevent bounce back. But while it's backing up, we can unload this car. Yes, will it do it in time? One more. One more. Oh, we wasted one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let him do his. He's, he's going to run into a barrel. So I put a, a track bumper. You can put a barrel and you can create um, operations like that. But, okay, now comes the excitement. We are going to run. Oh, my God. We're going to run. Uh, let's see. 
Back train number engine number six and seven, Bertha and Doodle. So Bertha, Bertha's been giving me problems. I don't know why. The only difference is Bertha has a generator, and Doodle does not. I don't know if the devs made made a difference, but it does seem to have a little bit more of a problem. All right, I'm going to totally take the brakes off. <laughs> Such an angry, angry whistle. All right, we're gonna get that one going. I'm gonna jump into Doodle here. As soon as that caboose passes, we're gonna jump in Doodle and get it going. It's scary, scary, scary. All right, brake released. Throttle going. All right, two two trains, three trains running. The Shea and these two. I've already got them watered up. Got the fuel in it. It's starting off a little slower. There we go. All right, doodle go, baby. Yeah, there's that red caboose ahead, so the excitement's on. <laughs> I could start the third one, or the fourth frame. I'm gonna wait till I get to the top of this grade because this grade is killer. It's kind of 3% up here to what I call Lookout Mountain. Right there. Lookout Mountain, because they're pretty much the center of the map. Almost. But it does get up to like some 5% right where that, where Bertha is now. And we are catching up because Bertha is slowing down, but we'll slow down too. This is where it gets exciting when running multiple trains and railroads online. I still got the, the class 125 to, to run. But see, Doodle, Doodle does better. I don't know why Doodle does better. Maybe it's due to the generator? I'm just gonna... See, we're pulling the steep part of the grade here and through the little valley. Put a... All right, he's taking off now. Ber Bertha's going. Bertha's going full sound. <laughs> I'm going to have to run and get in Bertha as soon as Doodle makes it up here. Because I'm going to have to set some uh, cruise brakes on there. All right, yeah, Bertha, Bertha is on its way. This is kind of the summit right here. Whew, excitement. Okay, I'm going to set the brakes on Doodle 17%. Okay. And now let's, let's fly. We're coming around here. This my, here we are to the uh, cattle farm. Here's how I like to get on engine. Go ahead of the engine, stop on the side of the track, wait for the engine to come, press that. Point. All right, see, that usually works. A fast movie train. All right, yeah, he's doing pretty fast. I'm gonna slow this one down. That was, the other one was 17, so I'm gonna put this one on 15. Plenty of space ahead. Run ahead. There's. Okay, they're well on their way. <laughs> you gotta be crazy, Charles. You gotta be crazy. You gotta be crazy. What are you gonna do? You're gonna launch an, a third train? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, this will be a personal best record.
I've done two. I haven't done three before. And I don't count the shade. The shade is kind of a cheat. All right, so here I'm going to put 47%. Oop, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Let's go. Ah, oh, that is a wonderful. All right, I put 47% brakes because this is a really steep, uh, steep, uh, sharp curve coming up here. This this curve right here, whiplashes. Uh, yeah, it doesn't do too good. Whiplashes could piece right off the right off the side. So we'll start off nice and slow here. And while that's happening, we'll get the Shea loading again. So technically, I can say I'm running four trains. That would be a real super personal test. Yeah, with that 40% break, he, he goes through there. What I like about uh, what I call cruise braking or power braking is it, uh, it sets a good speed. Whether that's prototypical or not, I don't know. But in Railroads Online, it works just fine. All right, so I'll show you how I use these markers. See, these are rails, and I lay the rails down. And so jump into the Shea. They are loaded. Okay, reverser, brake off, full regulator. And then I pull up, put everything post. And I stop. In this case, I usually use the first car, but in this case, the Shea is so small, I just use the Shea. And it's the only train on this track. So, all right, so there we go. We got that one loading. We have the class 125 on the hill, even with 40% brake, it is pushing it. And we are going to give this a full send. Yes, indeedy. All right, you're just going to go. No brakes, no nothing. All right, let's, let's find out what's going on with our other plane. Let's go up and over and look out mountain. Let's go. So I have a surprise. I don't really want to show the surprise. But we'll just cut cross country here. Yeah, I think I bypassed the surprise. I see one caboose. Yep, I see I see one caboose. God, is that the other caboose? Oh, there they are. Yay, there they are. That's the two trains ready. Oh man, okay. So they're coming in. They're coming in hot because this is a downgrade here. This is a steep, steep ground downgrade. It's a direct route. I figured out the nice straight in route. A little curvy track, but hey, it's narrow gauge. And ooh, this, yeah, that, that's my ski jump bridge. All right, let's see. So uh, to the right is the engine facilities, so we don't want that. Um, yeah, we don't want that. That would have been a crash. So let's uh, throw that switch. First track is okay for that. And I'm gonna to try to I'm gonna to try to stop them. <laughs> here they go, here they go. Woo! Down the down the ski jump. It's narrow gauge, it's nice and steep. Okay, there's that trick I told you about. Oh look at that, 30, 30 miles an hour. Alright, brakes, 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 brakes. Going to power break in because there's a train behind us, so we can't go can't go too slow. We're gonna have to park this one. Get it in there, get it in there, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh man, this is scary. The other one might be too close behind. Yeah, I'm just gonna put some brakes and let it post. I don't care because the other train is closing in on us. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, there it is! Oh my god! 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 Throw the switch! Throw the switch! Ah, oh, safe. We're safe. Okay, but yeah, it's coming in hot. It's coming in hot. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Coming into the yard perfectly. Oh, and the other can stop. Nice. Like a boss. Yes. Break, 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 break. Alright. Like a boss! <laughs> Why did that work? Yeah, we got plenty of lumber oh, from East Lake to West Lake here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then this lumber is uh, uh, going locally. So, so now we got to find the other train. So let's see. Look on the map. Do a quick map search. Figure out what that other train is located. It's past the depot yet. Did it derail? Oh yeah. oh yeah, it's going through. Oh, it's going through the surprise. Oh, oh bummer. Bummer, bummer, bummer. Let's go to the telegraph office. Wait. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> There it goes. Alright, so what was the surprise? Well, the surprise is... I've been working... on a really big town. And this is just the suburbs of this really big town. Out here by the farm. So what I'm going to do is put some brakes on this one. 17%, okay. And now I'll show you the surprise, what I wanted to show you. All right, so like I said, I've been working on this really, really, really big town. And this, is, this, this isn't the town, this is just the suburbs. And then we got like, I need more industry buildings. I've been making my own, like uh, this abomination. <laughs> And I use farms without any tracks just to use them as they are. But come in here to around the town. All right. And then now let me show you the town. Yeah. There's my town. It's a big one. But uh, I kind of broke my own rules. These streets, I should have made this much wider. These streets are way too narrow. I broke my four wagon rule. Oh, so, oh yeah, that's the station down. Here's Main Street here. Yeah, here's Main Street. Look at that. There's Main Street. I love it. Here's a little plaza. We're having, uh, having a sale today from all the... Uh, look familiar? This is the depot area. But see, I want to buy a passenger engine, so I need more money. But, uh, yeah. And then way over here, I, I got this... Uh, Nice little barn area. Uh, the road used to go through, but you know we added more tracks, so we had to had to close that off. But here's our corporate railroad housing and mill housing and everything. So corporate corporate is kind of the same. But uh, yeah, let's take off here. So that's my <laughs> that's my big city. Uh, all right, well, let's catch up with our with our boy out here. There's the suburbs. Diagonal track. I just wanted to put in a diagonal crossing. And I have spurs, so I'm trying to use more spurs and Ys instead of loops. But I got a few loops. All right, this is getting critical because, oh, I don't have a track for him to go on. Holy moly. Well, let's slow, let's slow him down. So this is a case of using the map for an emergency. So what I'm going to have to do is put him on the engine track. But not into the roundhouse. <laughs> yeah, because that yard is full. So, oh, mini map or max, maxi map for the win. I love that little hill. Super steep, but it's short. Narrow gauge, you know. It got away with crazy stuff. All right, let's see. Good speed. 
Turn off the regulator. All right. Yep. Not going into the coaling track. Got a coal car ready for the coal track. We are doing really good. Get water here, get sand. Technically, this is the longest track, too, because it's a, a asymmetrical yard. So let's stop here. And gang, I'm going to call that one a win. Because four trains at the same time. And look at that. It fits. It fits into the... Yay, it fits. All right. So all I have to do is... Uh, Empty all these logs into the mill pond. Get more beams. Yep, because the pond is empty. The lumber yard is done. Uh, I haven't hooked up the water out there. This is my return track. What happened here? I'm missing... What happened? I'm missing a piece of track there. That's supposed to attach to that. Oh. Well, I'll fix that later. Oh, I don't know what happened. Uh, but this comes all the way over here across the plains. That way it is a great place to build mega yards back here. It's ultra super flat. But I found a really cool place to build the iron, iron mine here against this rock. And I really like this uh, location for it because even up here... It's kind of like I added, added a tunnel in here. So, kind of gives it some flavor. It had that nice little mesa, so I thought that was kind of cool. So yeah, I bring lumber over here and bring the iron, and the iron has to go all the way out. So, part two of this video here, here's a little receiving yard. A little maintenance problem with that car, so we had to put it on the side. But, uh... Comes pretty straight and level through here. It's kind of nice. Nice high speed trains through this part. Yeah. Oh, through the three gap. Poor drone. Alright, let's go, let's go. So I'm giving you the quick tour. Because a lot of you know this map already. And if you don't, this kind of gives you an idea of the, the sheer size of it. All right, so this is the this is the farm. Something special here. I'm going to have a whole video related to what's happening over there. It's going to be uh, historic. It's based on real history. And so then this is the main line. Let's do Sherwood Forest here. Do you guys do you guys have like little secret spots in 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 the woods? Like I do. Check this out. Do, do, do. Let's run over here. So, you know, when you have when you have a pretty hectic day, you just got to get out of the city, and, and you just want to sit down. Look at this nice little corner I got. Hey devs, we need a campfire. <laughs> Can you just give us like a little campfire we could put out? That would be so cool. All right, anyway, let's continue the tour here. Yeah, the town, the town came out really, really good. I like the town. However, I did break my roll. Yeah, I, this is a three-wagon town and not a four-wagon. And I'm kind of mad at myself because I wished I would have just made it a four-wagon. Because there's plenty of space. We just need to use the space up. On the other side of the tracks, there's another one of those monstrosity uh, industrial buildings I made. <laughs> you like that and i did put a uh the gold stamp mill here but i did not hook up the tracks to it so it's just a passive facility because a town this big needs like an industry so that's wagon sir all right so through here from the town you didn't get a chance to see this that much because the trains are running through it but i do have a dual dual line here that services uh from the depot to the farm and then to the cattle ranch and then it veers off now most of the time i i go through this way with my main line 
but I recently kind of discovered coming through here really like this. So this goes that way. Now, where does all that iron go? Well, the iron goes to the smelter. And then, so it comes down this really, really steep hill. This hill has caused me so many weird problems. <laughs> And then it comes into my, I turn this way into the lumber camp, and that's my exit out that way. Uh, we come around the corner here. We make this turn, come around Little Lake here. I usually put like a lumber mill at Little Lake, but in this layout I didn't because I want that long run. So there's the, uh, Meat packing plant. What are you doing there? Uh, runaway maintenance issue. And I haven't run any cattle yet. And then it comes to the smelter where it picks up the rails. And where do rails go? Well, rails go to the coal mine. So let's continue the tour of my map here. That goes back up the hill. But then this is pretty interesting here. That's for future to go out to uh, around the lake. And um, we keep going around, 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 around. Oh, there's my, uh, <laughs> there's my hand cart. There's my hand cart station. Uh, I haven't finished decorating it, but that's my clicky grab. And then this is a beautiful piece of straight track. Oh my God, I'm so proud of this one. Uh, this track is crazy. Just beautiful straight track all the way across. Really, really, really long. And the reason why I had the handcart there is I was trying to do some speed tests with the handcart. And yes, it's very roller coaster y because that's how uh, the, you know, real narrow gauge is. Notice no mega bridges, everything's loaded to ground. So, so we come up and around. This is a holding for the iron. It's got two on each side. So this is where all the beams come in. And this is where all the rail comes in. And this is where the rail is needed. And so the strange thing about the coal mine is that it only has 60 rails and 30 beams. And it uses a lot of beams. So. One of the reasons of having yards here is to do exactly this. Just take your extras that it's not using and store them out here. The beams, oh my God, just sucks down beams like crazy. So we come around the corner here. We come over to the historic ant. There's the ant hill right here. There we go. Oh gosh, look at that. All those ants. I like calling this place uh, Antwerp. <laughs> this is Antwerp. And this is the default uh, station here at Railway Express Agency here. So I, I used to have a yard here, but I took it out. And I just put this piece of track in. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm surprised I made it with the uh, uh, three trains. Well, four technically with the Shea. Uh, I was going to attempt the fifth train. So the fifth train is, is the Lima here. And the Lima, I was going to run the Lima up to pick up, uh, I could run it now, I guess, but no, I'll, I'll wait to try to make, break my my record to run five trains at the same time because that's that takes the iron all the way back so it's empty right now because it just uh, emptied out all the iron so i have a pretty good load of iron now yeah oh 41 i guess i could use some more so so that was that was the idea there and i guess for the final for the final here we just go forward. Go forward here. 
and stop right here. Okay, jump out. And I'll show you how that trick is done. Uh, so while that's loading, so what you want to do is figure out, you know, where the end of your train, where you want it to be. You just drop a, a spike. I'm going to press the number two key. Two key drops it that way. Number eight key drops it this way. And then you can move it around. Number six spins it. And four spins it. So you can, you can do anything you want like that. You can make these little, uh, make these little markers, uh, you know, any way you want. So something like that. Boom, look at that. Or you can see that from a helicopter, look at that. That's kind of cool. So, so yeah, that's, that's the trick. Uh, you can do that. Hey, we're all loaded, ready to go. Uh, I'm going to call that a uh, super win. I think that was a whole lot of fun. Hey, remember, hit that like and subscribe if you enjoyed any part of this. You know, I, I kind of had fun bringing it to you. And, uh, yeah, you know, hit like and subscribe. Um, oh, there it is. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you all aboard.